Does it matter if the hospitals taking part in this trial manage labour and postpartum hemorrhage in different ways? No, it, it doesn't matter. Um, it's, it, I mean, you may be used to the situation in many trials where there's a, a very laid down protocol for management. Um, and we're, we're not going down that path uh, because basically it's a very big trial with lots of variation going on, which reflects lots of variation in real practice. And we want to keep to, to that um, idea of a pragmatic trial that we've already talked about. Um, but it's not going to affect the difference between the two trial arms because within any one centre there's randomisation. So within any one centre there's, there's equal numbers in both arms of the trial. And that, that way that the, um, the variation in practice pans out is that it's, it's very spread across all these different hospitals. And so it'll all come out in the wash, these sorts of differences, and give us an answer that says that almost regardless of the sort of background um, care and background um, management of labour and postpartum hemorrhage that's happening, does tranexamic acid help to prevent um, the sorts of bad outcomes that go with postpartum hemorrhage? Ian, what sort of outcome data, endpoints, um, events will we be collecting for this trial? Okay, well, it's a, it's a single-sided outcome form that collects data on the main outcome measures in the trial and side effects and complications. And that outcome form should be completed if the mother dies, if she's discharged from hospital, or six weeks after randomization, whichever of those occurs first. It's the outcome form can be completed entirely from the hospital notes. It does not involve a lot of extra work. One important thing to remember though is that if there's an untoward medical reaction, if there's a serious adverse event, any time, even after the woman's been discharged from hospital within six weeks, then that should be reported and there are procedures for reporting that laid out clearly in the protocol. You've explained very clearly um, the importance of transamic acid in general surgical patients and in um, bleeding in, in, in following general surgery, but is there any concerns of its use in the postpartum period? I think there are. Um, obviously, anything that helps clotting <clears throat> could cause clot formation where you don't want to clot. So, for example, you don't want to clot in the deep venous in the deep venous system, you don't where it could dislodge and go up into the lungs and cause a pulmonary embolism. You don't want to clots in the heart, in the brain. So there is a risk of thromboembolic side effects. Um, it's a theoretical risk because uh, there's lots of evidence about the use of this kind of drug in elective surgery. Now those are high risk patients with all sorts of heart disease and various other medical complications and there's no clear evidence of an increase in thromboembolic complications in that group. But still, we definitely can't discount it. And for that reason, we'll be collecting information on thromboembolic side effects in the woman tri trial. Obviously, we hope and we expect that the benefits of giving tranexamic acid outweigh the harms. But we don't know that yet, and that's why this trial is important. Some women will obviously want to breastfeed even if they're having postpartum hemorrhage. Do you foresee any problems with this if they've been given tranexamic acid? It's really important that women continue to breastfeed and that, of course, the, women, the woman trial must not interfere with that in any way. And there's no need for it to do so. For example, uh, we know that the concentration of tranexamic acid in breast milk is really low and that breastfeeding babies at the, at the most would have a very small amount of tranexamic acid in, in their bloodstream. Now, that's very unlikely to have any effects, but still, we're going to collect information on that in the trial just to make sure.
the woman trial is an important clinical trial. It's a great injustice that 500,000 women die each year from postpartum hemorrhage. And it's also a great injustice that's been so little clinical research on this topic. We've got a big collaborative network. You're part of it. This is your trial. You can make this happen. Working together, doctors, midwives, people working in hospitals all around the world, we can answer this question. And if the treatment is shown to be effective, that will be a major medical discovery. And it will be down to you, the collaborators, that uh, you'll, you'll be the ones responsible for that. So the role of the coordinating center is just to help you make this trial a success. Um, we are very confident that you will make this trial a success. Reducing maternal mortality is a millennium development goal. Um, there's, a, there's a goal to, to reduce by three quarters maternal mortality by 2015. At the moment, it's very unlikely that that goal will be realized. So we're doing our part to make sure that that goal is realized. So let's all work together and make sure this trial is a success.